steaks are ready, you could have salt them up and then put them in the fridge and have them in two days, so 48 hours with salt. All right, I have an audience. Anyway, it is Saturday night, they're ready to go. Just about to put them on the, on the fire. They, uh, they look exactly how I want them to, so I'm excited. Okay, 91 degrees, it's coming along pretty good. Um, I'm doing some asparagus too. So this guy, I'm just about to flip it. The temperature's coming along really well. They look really funky, which is good. That's what I want. So let me do that right now, actually. I bought these gloves because I figured it just makes it easier for me to do stuff. Mostly, I'm, I'm just doing this because I forgot my tongs, but mostly I just do it so I can move this around because it just makes it easier to move them around that way, I feel. You just roll them instead of having to move them almost individually. This way you can do them in groups, right? This guy's flipped, and that is flipped. I try to keep them in the relatively close um, section so that this might be too hot, this might be too cool, I just want to keep them mostly even, so that way this is a good gauge of where we're at in cooking, way, cooking wise. So everything's looking good, we're about halfway done. All right, we're here. They look good, they smell good, we can take them off the heat. Okay. Out of the uh, out of the fire, I've been sitting here for ten minutes. They look really good. I'm about to cut them open. Looks good. Cuts easy. That's nice. I did sharpen my knife, but. The meat is pretty soft. <laughs> what you can't see off camera is lady um is like uh, ready to try it out. But yeah, buttery, soft, pretty nice. I enjoy it. I'm eating.